Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great Friday. Uh, even if it is wet, a good day for ducks out there and uh, hopefully it'll dry up a little bit. And um, But but today we want to go back to our uh, Promises of God uh, devotional, the uh, YouVersion Bible app, Bible.com. Uh, you know, I know I've been, I talk about it a lot, but it really is a good, helpful thing to have on your phone or online or wherever you can can find it uh, because it's such good there's so much there I, i'm doing another one uh, on transformation that's really an excellent uh, series we might might do that talk about it on here one of these days but uh, uh, just just highly recommend because it keeps us in god's word uh, especially just kind of daily it's a good reminder they have reminders that pop up on my phone or, or whatever and uh, another thing about it i like to keep my streak going i've got a, a pretty long streak now uh, we're over three years, I think it is now, and it, it's uh, it's just a, a great, great way to be in God's Word, and so just just highly recommend it. Well, today is a, a familiar passage. It's a familiar uh, promise. It's really what happens when we put our our trust in the Lord, and and in, the reality is it, it's it's a uh, it's sort of a reminder to to go against self-sufficiency. I, I think that's something that we often try to do. We like to think of ourselves as being in control and, and we make our decisions and we, we don't need any help or, uh, you know, we, we, we do until we don't. <laughs> and then we, you know, we, we're self-sufficient until, until we can't, can't do it on our own. And, and then we turn to the Lord when the reality is God wants us to, to walk daily with him. That's what we talk about at camp a little bit is, you know, just, just our need to daily walk with the Lord, be attached uh, to abide in Him. And, and uh, uh, you know, if, if I think that's the heart of, of this passage that's so familiar. It's Proverbs 3, uh, 5 to 6. And, and it says this, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In other words, don't don't think in terms of self-sufficiency. Think in terms of, of, of God's sufficiency, that he's sufficient for you and he will be there to help you. You can trust him with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. Uh, recognize that he is God and you you are not. And and that's a healthy thing. And, and you know, that's that goes against what our world teaches, right? Because our world tells us, you know, be all you can be and, and, and trust yourself and do what you feels right for you and all those kinds of things. Well, this is all your ways submit to him, submit to to his word, to his spirit, to allow his spirit to work uh, in us in all your ways. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Submit to him. I, was, I just something just hit me as I was, I was reading it again. It's kind of mentioning the three key things there. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Uh, lean not in your own understanding. That's that's mind. And then in all your ways, the way you live, the, the outflow from your life. And, and we talk often about that, head, heart, hands. Uh, talk about how you know we, we had that as a theme one year at our kids' camps. And, and God wants us to get it in our mind, you know, his truth into our mind, then into our heart, and then out in our lives. But in here it's saying, trust in the Lord with, with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, and in all your ways, submit to him. It says, and he will make your paths straight. In other words, he will make make it go well for you. Not that everything's going to be perfect, but but he will help you through it. He will give his his love and his guidance and his help as you as you deal with it. Well, let's get into this uh, devotional that they have written here attached to it. It says, The wisest man on earth is telling us not to trust our own thinking, but to surrender to God's will. When we fully rely on God to direct our lives and make him Lord of our agenda, then he opens our understanding and gives us the wisdom to know which way to go. We must lean on the Lord and say goodbye to self-sufficiency. We, we lean on him. We trust him completely. As we pursue his presence, he makes our way plain. We can stop striving and worrying about our next step because he, we are always moving in his direction and he is opening doors for us. How will you acknowledge the Lord through your actions today? How does following the Lord, walking with the Lord, how does that flow out of, of your life uh, today? And just ask him to help you trust him with every detail of your day. Uh, life just goes better that way when we do that. 
Lord, thank you for directing my steps. Help me to trust your ways better than mine. I want to hold nothing back from you. Amen. That's a little, little prayer they have, and let's continue in prayer. Lord, help us to live for you as best we can. Help us to follow your way. Help us to, to surrender to you, trust you with all that we are, with our heart, with our mind, uh, and in, the, in our ways. Lord, we want to submit to you. We want to follow you and be all that you want us to be. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for this promise that you'll make our, our paths straight. And, and so whether, you know, hills or valleys or whatever come our way, we, we can trust you because you are faithful and good. And Lord, I pray that you would help each one today to, to grab a hold of this promise, to trust in you with all their heart, Lord. Uh, be with those that are hurting, those that need encouragement, those that are uh, physically suffering. Lord, we just ask for your blessings for your help for, for each of them. Uh, strengthen them. Uh, encourage them, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness, for your presence with us each and every day. Uh, be with us today to be all that you want us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for checking in with us again today, and we'll be back tomorrow with, uh, uh, or not tomorrow, we, this is this is Friday. My days kind of jumbled together a little bit, but uh, we'll uh, be back on Monday. Uh, but you have a, a great rest of your day, and we will uh, uh, see you later. Be sure and join us on Sunday if you can, either in person or online uh, at 1030. But uh, have a great weekend, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.